Good afternoon, guys, ladies and gents, sorry. This is Panda Vapes, and um, you're probably wondering, where are you? Where are you, Panda? Um, I am still in my jammies, so you will be not seeing me t on this film. This is just a quick tutorial on um, how to clean your dot mod squonk. I have not seen this yet, um, and yes, I've seen di the diagram on you know, Dotmon's website. I don't know if it's on other websites, but you don't receive it in the mail or anything. It's some it's something you can accidentally just look over because, you know, it you don't you don't pay attention to stuff like that. Um and with Dot Mod's products you might assume, oh I don't have to clean you know this product because a lot of the, like the dot mod um petri um tube you it's you're not supposed to have to clean that so it might be assumed you don't have to clean this also so i said it doesn't hurt to do a quick video of of how to clean this if pop if you need to and if you know how to clean this you can just hit your like and sh and share button and um and move on but if you d never knew how to clean your dot squonk stick around and also hit that subscribe button right there it will make me very happy and um, um at the end of this video if you like it please hit the like and share button and always comment i love 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 communicating with you uh, my subscribers my viewers my my friends um, I just love hearing what you have to say about my video and or just talk about other things and I just really really like it um, so do comment below and or email because I did receive an email today from one of my subscribers which was a surprise but it did put a smile on my face I do like communication with you guys and Emailing me is not going over boundaries. It is fine. I totally approve. Okay, let's move on to this tutorial. <laughs> I hope I'm saying it right. I have such a hard time saying tutorial. Um, I was trying to do this yesterday and it was like horrible. Okay, so here is, I'm going to take a vape first because there is some juice in here. And I, you know, want to vape. <laughs> And if you want to know what I'm vaping, it is a sugar cookie, freshly baked, cinnamon sweet, by Glass. Um, I have a review I'll be posting up about this, so look, stay tuned for that if I haven't posted it already. Alright, so, one more vape. Alright. It's nice and dry in there. You want to make sure there's no juice or just lay something maybe on your table so you don't get juice everywhere. Of course, I don't know where my juice rag is, so we're going to just bring it. I did clean my table <laughs> as best as possible. Possible. If anyone knows how to um, clean these mats, these vape mats, um, off, like, where they're almost practically, practically brand new, what to use, please let me know because I do sometimes eat on my, um, at my table while I'm working and stuff gets on it and I, I like, want to keep my things clean, so I used the hot water and it worked pretty well, but if you know something b better than just you know, leave it in the comment section. I am always open to opinions and other options. All right, let's get to this video and let me stop talking. All right, as you guys see, I did get my squawk back after the um, incident that happened with the auto firing. This one's, the button's a lot smoother and um, it's, I'm happy to have it back. <laughs> and um, I'll, I have an unboxing that I will be posting up if I haven't already. So, 
Okay. So you lay this down. You want to keep your REA on for right now. Keep it on for right now. And um, it, because I will show you why. You always want to remove your battery when you're doing anything. <laughs> I. When you're doing. Yeah, I just rewrapped my batteries. Pink for breast cancer awareness. I had known a few people that had breast cancer, so yeah, I love representing breast cancer awareness whenever I can. It's some people will say this is purple, but I would I would say pink. I don't know. It looks kind of purple in that video, but it is pink. All right, so you remove your battery. You're obviously you're gonna want to remove your juice your um, juice bottle don't want that and if you have a if you have something like this <laughs> y'all <yeah>, matchy matchy <laughs> if you have something like this what you do is just put this in in there like that so your juice doesn't spill out because these bottles are very soft and actually I've noticed the red bottle isn't as soft as the original bottle it comes in. I haven't had any a lot of issues with um, liquid coming out, which is a pleasant surprise. I guess they um, once they they realized that their first bottles maybe were too soft, they made them a little harder, but not too hard. They're still very soft, but not to where your juice is just coming out in a little bit of a touch. It might be just in my head. I don't know. It feels like I haven't had any leaking problems with me um, when I fill this up or anything. So I just feel like the bottles are a little bit more um, harder, but not by much. Just enough so your juice doesn't leak out. Okay. And we're not talking about the bottle pen now. We're talking about the mod. Okay. So let me. Okay, so as, as you can see, this this little thing that turns around, spins. You see that? It's like a um, little donut. Okay, you're going to want to remove that. And how, the best way I've noticed to remove it is pinching it. You might want to try to get like two products and like pinch. And like take a flat end of something and try to like get it out like that I would take the flat end of this flat end to this and use this to hold it and then just like push but try not to push to where you're gonna scratch anything as you can see I did not scratch anything that these were that was from yesterday so don't think see that they're, they're from yesterday not today all right so and I have a little bit of juice in there all right so you want to just like you want to clean this this is called a electrode um you want to clean this um with rubbing alcohol you know rub clean it with rubbing alcohol and then I would soak it in some hot water never use soap for anything you are cleaning when it comes to your vape products you never never want to use soap because soap just has a tendency of sticking in there and like never coming this taste never coming out and you don't want to vape soap so you you would soak this in um, clean it with, with a I, I want to say ear cleaner because that's what I call them but your um, a q-tip with alcohol and then soak it in hot water and let it sit while you're doing the rest of this and, and let it sit in the hot water um, you want to take your RDA off now and I'm, my, my o-ring stuck if your o-ring is on there remove your o-ring And this is what you you want to like the the button right here. 
You just want to Sorry, it was stuck a little bit. Okay, so your button right there, you want to push it up like that. Now push it up. Do, do, push it up. Reminds me of a song. <laughs> um, and then pull out. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh God, Maria, Panda has a perverted mind in the morning. Sorry, no, I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay, so here's your pin. If you can see, if I can focus good enough, here is your pin, and you're going to want to soap, um, clean this with alcohol with a Q-tip. Clean real good and. You know blah 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 you know get all the extra juice and grud that be on it off and then put it I would I my advice would I would take your electrode out refresh the hot water so it's hot again put them back in the hot water to soak together and boom and now while they're soaking you're gonna get a q-tip and you're going to clean the whole thing in here you're gonna clean this you can clean around your button you can clean all in here clean your spring your hole in here oh, sorry my nails in the way clean in there clean in here you don't want to take any of the actual walls off you don't want to take let me show you you don't want to you don't want to remove any of these screws you don't want to remove that screw you don't want to do anything that's going to remove any screws because that will automatically void your warranty you do not want to void your warranty because that mod is very very good at following through with their warranty they're very nice people. Whitney helped me through my whole situation with my what happened with my dot squonk mod. Um, so you want to keep your warranty. They definitely follow through with their warranty policy, which is amazing. I love dot mod for that. Um, so you just want to clean everything, clean, 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 clean anywhere juice could up to clean around your button here you know I would push it I would push your button and clean it too and then unpush and clean push and clean you know just redo redo it all over again and then I would take a q-tip with just water and I would you know redo the whole process with just warm water on your q-tip to take that alcohol off of everything okay so that is if you want to clean like here you can with alcohol and all that clean in just do a whole clean out clean it um so okay now now your your mod is clean it's perfectly clean obviously mine is it has juice right there but your mod your mod is clean it's good it's good to go okay so we we're gonna take this we're gonna dry it off obviously in a you know a towel soft towel or rat um paper towel or something and we are going to just pop it back in pop it right back in like that boom see that see how it pops right back in easy easy peasy and then you're gonna take your RDA and you're going to <laughs> you're gonna take your clean clean this also clean your o-ring cleaned o-ring you're gonna put it right back where it belongs and you're gonna put your your of oh, oh, your RDA Hmm. 
hold on. This is too high. Not low. Sometimes you gotta give it a nice push. Okay, so now when it's down like that, see how far it's down? That's where it's supposed to be. Sometimes it it's, gets stuck on the top. You just push it down. Okay, now it's on. You're, and you see your button? Okay, now if you look closely. Look closely, you see the indentation right there right there that is where your electrode is going to go back your clean nice and clean electrode is going to go in that area right there so you get your tweezers of course this is not easy none of this is easy <laughs> I had nails, so what I did was I held it, the electrode, with my my um thing, and what you would do is get like something like this, and you just push it down, like that, so it pops it in its spot. You would know it's in the right spot because it will spin like it's supposed to. See, it's spinning. And you just double check, you know, do a close check. Make sure it's on there correctly. You know, moving around with your finger. And it's on. Okay? It now your your squonk is clean. You get your squonk bottle. You get you put make sure it's on the right side make sure you see the you know the engraving see it look there you go see make sure you see the engraving right there and then you push see how like like the other bottles it would so leak just by holding it like this this is not leaking. I think they're harder. It's definitely worth to get get one of these extra bottles because they also come with a lid so you can carry it in your purse or your vape bag or your pocket, you know, in your um, shirt pocket or something. I wouldn't put it in my pants pocket because you would probably squeeze a lot of the juice and it might leak. Yeah, it, it comes with a nice little lid, I'll show you. See, it comes with this lid when you buy one of these. This, when you buy the extra bottle, you get a lid to carry around your, another juice bottle. See, this, they just feel so different than... Oh, God. The original. The original bottles feel way. Th Let me see this. The virgin. The original bottle is a lot thicker. It's a lot. I mean, softer than these bottles, and that's good because that means it's not gonna leak as much when you put e-liquid in it, and you're putting it in here, and it comes with a lid. You know, you can get all the colors that they have as with the squonks. You can get for your to match. See, so yeah, I have matchy matchy. And, You ever dr clean out your drawers and they um <laughs> you're un more unorganized than you were when to begin with. You should have just left them messy. My drawer is like I try. I think I thought I made it cleaner, but now I can't find nothing in it. 
in it. I need more space. I need another draw, um, another shelf of draws to um, for my stuff. I have too much stuff. Yeah. So okay. So you do this. You put your battery back in, po positive, I mean, positive down, obviously. You put your screen back on, boom, boom. You put this back on, boom, boom. All right, so, then you go. So you squonk, and you hear it, I love it, you hear it. See, they gave me the Petri V2 um, RDA to replace this one. But the thing about the Petri V2, it's got very restricted airflow. I do a review on that. I guess we really restricted airflow and I I don't like that. I like a lot of airflow. It was just not for me. So I just go back to this. Okay. That is my tutorial to clean the dot mod squonk. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. <laughs> if not, please just still hit that like and share button so someone else might need to know um, how to clean this squonk, the Dama squonk. Um, not everyone looks at the diagram that they provide, so they don't know to clean it. Um, I sure didn't know, so. I can't be the only one that didn't know so yeah definitely if please like and share and if you haven't yet subscribe if you're new to my channel welcome to my family um, we have a lot of fun on the channel I'm silly and stupid and crazy <laughs> not, not stupid in a stupid way I'm very smart but stupid funny and um, yeah and hit that bell so you're always up to date with me so you can do you don't miss the craziness and also if you're a female to go to my other channel called panda girl fashion girl is spelled g-u-r-l fashion panda girl fashion it's about fashion clothing me trying to learn makeup <laughs> i haven't did a lot i'm waiting for my clothing haul I ordered a lot of things from AliExpress, so we're going to review them and all that nice stuff. And I'm also I'm I just uh, subscribed to a bunch of books subscriptions and unbox subscriptions. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, um, this is my tutorial how to clean a dot mod squonk. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed giving it to you guys. I love you all very much and appreciate you for following me and watching my videos. And I will catch you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 <laughs>